Hi. Hi. How's everyone doing? Everyone doing well? We hope so. Yay. It's our last video here in New Mexico for now. Because we're going to come visit her again. We can only very hope. Nice. It's very nice. Uh, and today, our final recipe for New Mexican Recipe Week is chili souffle. Green chilies. Green not, chili. Not chili with an I at the end. With chili an e. with an E at the That's end. That's right. Green chili. Remember, red or green. Red or green in Mexico. It's green. Mexico. It's green, green today. And we even have green chili sauce. That's true. In case we want it. All right. So let's get to it. It's time for another episode of Cooking with Caitlin. That's me. Enjoy. <music> All right, we've got a large saucepan. I'm melting three tablespoons of butter in there. And then I'm gonna add, I'll move on to our next ingredient, just letting y'all know what we're doing. Okay. All right, now we've added in three tablespoons of flour with our butter. See here we're just letting it cook, letting it thicken up, just for a little bit. Kind of like a roux, just forming that base for our souffle. So we get that going, that's good. And turn the heat down a smidge. Don't want that burden. Yeah, I can cut to you for a sec if I need to. Yeah, they need to be like ready for meringue. All right, so that's getting good and thick like we want. Here, I'm going to pause you guys and show you D real quick. All right, so she's got four egg yolks. We've separated, or not egg yolks, she has egg whites. We're using three yolks, four whites. Save that yolk for an egg scramble. And she's going to do like we do for meringue, beat them until they're nice and fluffy. We'll check back when they are nice and fluffy. All right, we have removed it from heat. We're going to add in our next ingredient. We've got a cup of whole milk. Now it's going to kind of bubble up a little. We already knew that was going to happen. But the milk was going to make it just kind of be like angry sounding. But it's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. So we're just mixing that in real nice right there. That's good. We want that well combined. Now I'm going to be dropping in the egg yolks about one at a time. A few of them kind of split a little. But we're just doing that you can see getting that nicely mixed in and the last of it it's pretty chopped in there oh Oh, uh, okay. Sorry guys, you're falling. I gotta just readjust you there. All right, we're getting all those egg yolks nicely mixed in. It's looking real good. Hmm? Oh, I'm gonna show you guys the egg whites. We'll come back to this in one. And the egg whites are what makes the souffle fluffy and light. If you watched back, it was early January when I made that chocolate souffle, same concept. Souffle is the egg whites, puffing it up real nice. So pause you and get back to... Sure. All right, now we are adding in half a cup of cottage cheese and we were lucky because her grocery store had that in its own little container. Because I'll be honest, none of us eat cottage cheese. So we weren't sure we would want any extra. And we considered replacing it with a different type of soft cheese, but decided to follow the recipe the first time through at the very least. Usually the recommendation to do. All 
All right, so we're gonna get that cottage cheese mixed in there. I know, I know the feeling. All right, so we've got that nicely mixed in. Oops, sorry guys. Do some salt and pepper to taste. And then we're adding in one can of drained Rotel. And then Dee is gonna bring over those onions, green onions, that she chopped up about two tablespoons worth, a couple stalks worth. Just mix and all that in. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Dee. No, it's just the cheese, but it's fairly mixed. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, so we're getting all that in. And then on to our last step of mixing. Oh, and I don't know that I mentioned before that we preheated the oven to 350. So make sure you have done that. All right. Yeah, I think we'll do over. I just don't want it to be over heat, heat. Oh, it isn't? Okay, then. I'm going to reposition you guys back. All right, and we're going to fold in half the egg whites first. Whoop! We're going to fold those in. If that's still hot, you need It's not really. And then we will. And this folding in, we get a little more vigorous, a little more combine and then the second half just kind of a light fold always think of Sh Schitt's Creek with folding the G's when I do this now because it's such a funny scene a fun series all right all right and now we can fold in the rest of our egg whites and see, she did real well because she's toppling them over and I'm having to actually make them come out. Like we talk about, that's the goal. When you're getting your egg whites nice and fluffy like that. So just doing that. And then we're going to pour them into a buttered dish. You need it to be about a quart size. We've got a quart and a half, so be good. And then we're going to bake it for 30 to 35 minutes. And as always, we hope it rises, and if it doesn't, it will still taste good. But it's cool if it rises, and if it doesn't, still taste good, and that's the goal. Wait. And honestly, I think a quart and a half was a better size because if this was in a quart, it would be to the tippity top. Is it, is it not deep oh no, it's, it's the right depth. This is about, you kind of like, you're fine if you go to the very top, but sometimes you can get some spillage no, in the I'm oven. No, I don't think you're going to need it underneath. Yeah, um, we're gonna okay. Oh, that's true. I did that for the chocolate soufflés, too. All right, so we're going to put this on a pan to put in there. Okay, see. And they recommend take a clean finger around so you get that nice edge at the top. I know it's got stuff in it, so it's not as smooth a top as some, but there you go. We'll check back when we take it out of the oven. See, it's risen up some. We're taking it out. Now, see that golden top, but if you've got a little toothpick or a knife, that's what I was going to say. A slender yeah, a slender knife. knife just to go through the middle. We just want to make sure it's all cooked since we had egg in there. I like guess Chef D test that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Mm. I think it needs a little bit more time. All right, guys, we will check back. Rounding up really nicely. We see it's risen a good bit and test it again. All right, that's good, because you can still have a little bit of crumb, but it's not wet, and that's the goal, so it is ready to be served. You serve it, um, probably let it cool a few minutes, then you serve it. 
There we are. Bon appetit and buen provecho since it's New Mexico week. See you later.